you know, our next guest certainly didn't miss her chance to make a dream come true. Every month, we team up with Dove to introduce you to a woman who's making a big difference in her community, or in this case, around the world. She's a young tech entrepreneur whose innovative idea has the potential to help millions of people with just the click of a mouse. Here's her story. Amaryllis Fox learned at a very young age that the world was at her fingertips. I don't know if it was my parents' approach to us or it was growing up running around African night markets and Asian food stalls, but I had this kind of sense that everything was possible. Her father was an international economist, and every year they moved to a new city, from Agadir, Morocco, to Yogyakarta, Indonesia, often living in communities that had very little. Being lucky enough to have that exposure to people who really have no access to basic human needs, to clean water, to medical care, to shelter, made me aware from such an early age of how much work there is to be done and got me really excited to find innovative ways to do it. Amaryllis partnered with the magazine industry and now has a feature in publications like Good Housekeeping, Red Book, and Seventeen. If you're reading one of those magazines and you click on to buy nail polish, 10% of the sale goes to charities like the American Red Cross, the Voice Project in the Congo, and Women for Women Worldwide. Mumu is about connecting people in completely different places in life, allowing somebody at their kitchen table in the middle of America to support somebody standing at the well in Sudan. Ironically, her high-tech skills emanated from her low self-esteem. So in middle school, I felt different, right? And these girls were beautiful with blonde hair and they all had a particular look to them. And I'd come from the big wide world and had blue hair and dressed completely differently. I became the geek that went to the coffee shop on the weekends and taught myself Sanskrit and Aramaic and then translated that into a love for technology and coding because it was a sort of international language. And I'm, I'm really glad that I had the experience because I think it's what brought me to today. She now has 12 employees working in her Los Angeles office and they've raised $100,000 for 30 different charities. While she's improving lives one purchase at a time, she's inspiring others to follow in her footsteps. What's awesome about Amaryllis as a mentor is that not only is she a mom, but she's also a CEO. She runs a business, she's a friend, and she's changing the world at the same time. And please welcome Amaryllis Fox, our dub woman who should be famous. Now, you have such an interesting background. You studied law at Oxford, international relations at Georgetown. You actually worked in counterterrorism. She's like Carrie Matheson from Homeland. And then you did sort of a, a, a turn and you decided to get into be, being a social entrepreneur. How did that happen? Yeah, you know, I think one of the things that's so exciting about technology and entrepreneurship is it makes the world a really small place. You know, you, it, it gives somebody sitting at their kitchen table the ability to connect with someone else on the other side of the world and make a difference in their life. And I think given my background, I, I'd seen some of the darker places in the world and I, I knew how much work there was to be done and we really wanted to give people an easy, accessible way to make a difference. Was it hard to convince the magazine industry and even the manufacturers into this kind of new business model? You know, it's been an amazing win-win. I, you know, publishers are, are so excited to give their readers the ability to buy the things that they're reading about on the page. You know, imagine you are reading about a great new blender or skin cream, and instead of having to go search for it somewhere else, right there on the page, you can buy it, same price, and you've already supported an amazing cause. It must feel so great to do what you do, because how much money have you raised for all these different charities? And you've really only just begun. Yeah, we've, Garrett Garbinder. We've, really only, <laughs> we've really only just launched and uh, already over $100,000 for 30 organizations that we're working with at the moment. And it is one of the best parts of, of what I get to do every day is to learn about what these amazing organizations are doing and the programs that they're that they're starting. Well, I know that, that Mulu's getting a lot of attention and in the process you're inspiring a lot of young women every day to get involved. So, Amaryllis Fox, thanks so much for coming in. Congratulations. Thank you. You're, you're the inspiration. Thank you. And by the way, 
Our audience today is going home with Dove Let's Talk Toolkits. And you can find yours at katiecouric.com slash Dove. And while you're there, tell us about a woman you know who you think should be famous, and she could be featured right here on our show. Coming up, Meredith is back to seize her moment. That's right after this. Dove is a proud partner of The Katie Show and is committed to inspiring all women and girls to reach their full potential. Together, we can create a world where beauty is a source of confidence, not anxiety. Visit katiecouric.com slash Dove for more information.